You know, you mentioned the word being right here versus having or doing. So the be, do, have notion, it sounds like it's probably very related or tangential to the work that you do. You bring up a really good point about people working for very long periods of time. I have clients who said, I've, I can work for three years on a goal, achieve it at nine, and by noon, I'm like, what's next? And they're trying to, what are they trying to fill at that point? Is it a distraction when you focus on the doing? Are we avoiding what's inside or what have you found to be happening or is it not true for everyone? I think it probably is true for everyone, quite frankly. Um, and there's so many pieces to that. One is from the psychologist point of view, we are very bad at affective forecasting. So you may have heard about that. Our, we're not good at predicting how we will feel when certain events are coming up. We always think we're gonna feel better about them than we do. Um, we also, when we look back on the event, feel better about it than we did in the moment. So we tend to predict, hey, like getting that promotion is gonna make me feel amazing. And then when we look back on it, we actually think it did make us feel amazing. But in the moment we feel kind of like, huh, this I'm still at baseline. And so we go through our whole lives feeling kind of at baseline with nothing really pushing us high. Um, and or doing so only very temporarily. And that's because our society it has very much what's called a hedonic focus. We're very pleasure focused. It's even built into our, our whole saying of the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> happiness is fine, but happiness we never fill up on. We are never satiated. There's something called a hedonic treadmill that we keep. Once we get more, we want more. So when you're looking at pleasure, you're always just rumbling forward and feeling like, I got that. Now I need something else. I need something else. And achieving is that experience versus if we soak in, sink into more of a meaning focus, there's a place for pleasure. We don't want to get rid of pleasure, but really say around what we're doing with our lives, how do we find that deep sense of meaning, which is the best predictor of life satisfaction. And meaning comes from giving to others, not just to ourselves, right? And feeling deeply connected, a deep sense of belonging, feeling like our, we have a narrative, we can make sense of our lives, and that we really are able to even transcend ourselves throughout the day and feel like we're connected to something bigger than ourselves. Mm -hmm. 